What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. We are with the the Moxie Boosted production team. We we were friends and now they're my employees. It's funny how life how life just throws you curveball. No, not really, but yeah. We got how, how it be doing. Yeah, we got much, Brady, we got Michael. Much like the three guys on screen you see right now. That's us. Who tag that's yourself. Tag yourself. I'm uh I think I'm probably Dragonite. I gotta be Urshifu. I move like him in real life. I guess I'm I guess I'm Champel. And I'm I... Tornado. No. <laughs> just <laughs> just the guy no one invited. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna talk about Pound Knight and just like Urshifu. Basically, these four Pokemon are probably winning the world championships. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um yeah. if you say that, it's not really a hot take. These are probably the four most solid Pokemon in the format right now. Uh, you see Pound Knight thrown onto like balance teams. You see Pound Knight thrown onto like hyper offense teams, under rain teams. It's a duo that is so solid that it is hard to escape. And what we're going to talk about today is how it functions and the Pokemon that you can use to beat it and how they sort of beat them in different ways. So yeah, if you enjoy, yeah. leave a like, subscribe, make sure you check out everyone's channel in the description down below. Um, and yeah, let's just, let's just get into it. Um, I'm a down below and Dragonite Shin Pao answers. Yeah, all top. doctors hate them. Yeah, doctors hate <laughs> him, and it's like Iron Hands. <laughs> no, what is it? Um, well, podiatrists work with feet, so what is it? A maniatrist? I don't know. Hand doctor. Someone comment down below what a hand doctor is. Anyways, Where are we getting iron feet? Anyway, Dragonite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So Dragonite Shin wow. There's a couple of ways you can run it. The most common set is obviously like the Choice Band Terra Normal, right? You sometimes see like AV Terra flying, but like the most basic Dragonite is going to be doing this. However, the Dragonite arms race has been going on. So sometimes you see them do this. Crazy, right? Sometimes they, the, yeah. the, the arms, sometimes race, they is pretty deep. The arms cool. race is pretty deep. I will say this is because like it's, it's just you team. just the arms race is let's move eight from here put eight here let's move eight from here put eight most here of them, most of them will never dip into like running jolly you're pretty much always at it because you need that yeah. power for extreme speed to do yeah the, the thing about dragonite chimpow is that like it picks up ko's because we haven't talked about it yet um terra normal gives you stab on your extreme speed right i uh, with that and a choice band and not being able to be flinched or intimidated next to Sword of Ruin Chien Pao, you basically yeah. can beat whatever you want. Um, something that some players will actually do is actually, well, they used to do this. They would run Aqua Jet on their um, Dragonite because a lot of Fluttermains are EV to live uh, Ice Spinner. So by having Aqua Jet on the Dragonite, it allows you to also just KO it that way. But for now, you know, it's mostly not running that. It's usually like Outrage, Stomping Tantrum, um, and uh, the final move is kind of whatever. I've seen low kick. I've like seen ice spinner. Aerial ace. Aerial ace. Yeah, aerial ace yeah, is another big one. But yeah, basically the deal is if you don't have psychic terrain up and you don't have, you can't like intimidate these guys, right? Dragonite is going to ruin your day. It's going to run through your whole team. If your Pokemon is frail, if it's just like kind of not like super bulky, it's going to get one or two shot by these two Pokemon and they are a menace to society. And we're going to talk about how you need to beat them. Other side of the coin. Urshifu Tornadus. These guys are also on a team with these guys, right? It's the exact same thing. You have like your bulky Tornadus, you have Prankster Tailwind, and it also has manual rain for like rain dance. Uh, and your Urshifu is gonna be running like Mystic Water, Terra Water, Surging Strikes. It bypasses Protect. Basically, it's another Pokemon that doesn't care about Intimidate. These are the we don't care if you have Intimidate or Screens up Pokemon. Except some of them care about Screens, some of them care about Intimidate. That is the gist these, of the team. These compositions are the ultimate balance breakers because like the tools that Balance uses to regulate damage, like Intimidate or Fake Out or Redirection, Dragonite goes before all of those and doesn't get hit by half of them. So it's like yeah, like if your Tornadus, <laughs> if your Tornadus isn't calced to take an E speed, you are throwing in this format. That is my yeah. hot take. The um, only ways that you have to mitigate their damage, really, uh, and we'll get into it, are like either set screens or just live the hits naturally. So bulkier things are why this format is be trending towards. Well, yeah, and there is one bulky or resistant hit. Yeah, and there is one hero. There is one hero who bypasses all of these things, and we'll get to him at the end. He's gonna have like a post credits Marvel cameo. Um, yeah, the very end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watch, watch until the end. Yeah, watch watch until the end. There's a jump scare. All right. So the thing about like Dragonite is that it doesn't care about intimidate. It does care about screens. Chen Pao 
cares about Intimidate and Screen. So like versus this duo, I think the first one we can cover is Grim Snarl, which has seen a big resurgence recently. Um, we already know what it does. It's light screen. It's reflect. It sets up screens. Yeah. It, it goes for spear breaks, like potting shots sometimes. It yeah. goes for thunder wave. Like, Grim Snarl is like the ultimate damage control Pokemon. Yeah, it's it's been doing this in Sword and Shield, and I don't see any time where it's not going to be doing it. Sometimes it sets up Misty Terrain, but that was like before when we didn't need screens often. Yeah, um, and I think and now you do need to be max HP, max defense to live sort of ruined banded Terra Normal E speed. Is but... it actually just straight up max HP, max defense? Yeah, that's so the downside, I mean, the, the upside to that though is it like you don't really need your other stats. So. Yeah, I mean, like what you were setting up screens and then parting shotting out anyways. Oh, another big thing is parting shot is really good into uh, Dragonite because it's one of the you can't intimidate, right? So you have to actually use a move to lower the attack set. Burn is also really solid, but you don't have that option. Um, yeah, yeah. It also, but crucially, it forces them to click extreme speed, which is what you can use to capitalize with, like what Brady said earlier, resisted hits or like ghost types or yeah. steel types. Or um, like that. There are a couple of solid Terra types for it. I think Terra Steel is like one of the best, just because Steel's it allows you. It's best. Yeah, it allows you to like resist steel hits and also resist both of the stabs coming off of Dragonite and Chen Pao. Um, you know, also Flutter Mid, which is yeah, also Flutter Mid. Yeah, and um, another one you could technically look into is Ghost, but I don't, I don't personally like it because it makes you susceptible to getting like sucker punched. Um, yeah, and I think the biggest thing about Grimstone that makes it really good is that the only super common taunt users, except for like the taunt Heatran there here and there, right, is going to be Prankster from like Tornadus or Thunderous. Yeah. So being able to have that dark typing and make you immune to taunt means that you're almost always going to get at least one of your screens up every single game, if not both, and then switch out into something like you can parting shot in like your Golden Go and like Golden Go with Grimstarl is ridiculous. Yeah, I saw yeah. somebody, uh, Grimstarl thrives off the genies, exactly for what you just said of being immune to Prankster Taunt. It also thrives with the genies, uh, boosting like a Landorus's attack and defense or special defense and defense with light screen reflex. Huge, especially with Intimidate, especially yeah. since most Landorus are running a vest. I saw something crazy earlier today. I saw somebody parting shot their own card tree in Amorous and I was like, whoa, wait a minute there. It's going crazy <laughs> they're mode. doing something with that. He's going but crazy mode, man. Literally all four genies benefit from Grim. So. Yeah, so Grimstar are solid in all of these. Golden Go is sort of a roundabout way of dealing with this. It cares about Sucker Punch, right? But it also almost always runs Terra Water, which would make it not care about Sucker Punch. But also, being a Ghost type means that it doesn't care about Extreme Speed, and the Dragonite player has to be, it's gotta be some kind of crazy to E-Speed you. Like, he has to actually be crazy yeah. to E-Speed you. It's got good bulk, um, and make it rain hits both for solid damage. You're gonna like, if they're multi-scale, you're gonna break the multi-scale, and you're also gonna send Champ out to Sash. And yeah, if you're also just the like typical like bulky citrus berry set, you get a ton of value out of this dude. I just want to throw him on there as like an honorable mention um, because he is also, really good. Also, you can pretty much like freely set up in front of like Chien Pao Dragonite just because uh, most of the time the dark type move that they're running is, you know, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Yeah, so Dark is pretty you uncommon. Just, you just, you know, press Nasty Pod in front of him. What are they going to do? They're going to click the ice spinner the move that like doesn't hit you at all yeah i mean they have some they have stomping tantrum on d night but then they're locking themselves into stomping tantrum on d night um, and then it's not easy beating exactly yeah, it's, kind, yeah. of, it's <laughs> kind of the goat golden go, golden go and the next two are like you can kind of roll compress them all into the same thing on yeah. this list because it's bulky guy that doesn't instantly die that can click extreme speed in front of or, uh, wow that can click sp spread move in front of extreme speed guy yeah. which is why two of them are ghosts and this one's a rock type. So. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, being able to being able to resist, like, ice and, like, uh, extreme speed is also really, like, crucial for Hisui yeah. and Arcanine. You see Arcanine's, a lot of different sets. I like Scarf. Arcanine's typing is the only reason that it's here. Which is weird, because Fire Rock's garbage. Yeah, it's so bad, but, like, it's all of what normal Arcanine was doing in regulation, like, 1, 2, and kind of 3, but it kind of fell off in C. Um, but it, this was the buff it needed to keep up with Dragonite Shimpao just based off rock type resisting the moves that are coming its way. Yeah, like this is like kind of a somewhat normal uh, Arcanine spread. Um, I've seen a lot of Terra Normal recently, but basically- I mean, you, can go, you can go Citrus, Safety Goggles. It's the same Pokemon as Arcanine was. It's the same Pokemon as Arcanine has always been, but yeah. w just with a better matchup into the best form or uh, the best offense right now. Yeah, just re resisting E-Speed is just good. And it's weird. Like a lot of people thought Hisui and Arcanine was going to be complete garbage when it dropped and then like People, well, because I think people thought Hisui and Arcanine would be like a noob trap, you know, like, oh, haha, ha, Scarf head smash. Um, yeah. But then it ended up just being like, 
hey, you know, like the, the extra bulk actually still gets does, intimidate too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the extra bulk and intimidate, and also it has Terra. Like it's is kind of good, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I think his and Arcanine is just really solid in this. Fluttermane is sort of a different story. It's immune to extreme speed and it does care about um, Sucker Punch and Ice Spinner, but it is the sort of Pokemon that it's very easy to actually live. Actually, if you want to hear free spread 220, 20, that lives both uh, Modest Max Special Attack, Make It Rain if spread, and also Ice Spinner from Chen Pao. Huge. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Free spread, but yeah, no, that, or you just do that. Um, but I just want to throw it in there. These guys, just like the offensive option for beating the two. Everything from this point on, except for Urshifu, is basically gonna be like your defensive options. Urshifu, you want to explain why Urshifu's on this list, Michael? Because you can afford to drop speed in this format when everyone's running either Icy Wind or Tailwind and not have to be like a Sword Shield player and run 252 attack and speed. You can run some HP and some defense on him to live extreme speed and then one hit KO Chen Pao back. And it's not terribly adding. hard to like live. You have 100, 100 bulk. This thing is like as bulky as Kunkelder. Yeah, I've been running enough to hit 139 speed on Urshifu. Uh, That's which for I Aleki, right? It's if you speed drop Flutter Mains, you'll outspeed them. That's like also with icy, that's icy wind or something that's like so that. funny because that's also half of a Leki. Oh, cool! So if you have Tailwind up, then boom, you're outspeeding Reggie Leki. Yeah. And then the 84 in HP lets you live the. Uh, for all six Reggie Leki. The D Knight moves. Really saw a Pokemon. But for all six of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. for all yeah, six. There are the not many of them, but <laughs> yeah, but they exist. They, they're scary. Uh, Corviknight is like a hot take on this list, but I actually did think about this just before we recorded. Um. It is also like an iron defense dude, right? Um, you do kind of care about Chen Pao, but being able to switch into literally everything that Dragonite wants to go for more than makes up for it. It also has access to like iron defense roost body press. It's sort of like a Gudra, but it um, but it switches in better versus the Dragonite specifically. It's like iron defense roost body press. You have uh, option for like tailwind, but I think iron head is probably like a little bit better there. Um, so you have something for flood him in. Yeah, you can even do bulk up if you really want. Uh, but I think Iron Defense is a lot easier to get away with. So this guy, just being able to have like this massive bulk in 100, 105, or in 98, 105, it's pretty similar to like that Urshifu bulk, but it is yeah. it does have a better defensive typing in flying and um and steel. You can also Terra into like a, a better defensive typing. The only thing is Corviknight's best defensive Terra typing is technically Dragon, which you don't want to ever be. So maybe don't in that situation, right? Mm -hmm. Um I can but yeah. see them going fire for Heatran eventually, maybe. That's actually probably a really good point. Heatran is also trending up with the Dragonite Gym, though. So. Yeah, and the, it, I mean, the only thing you really care about is like Urshifu at that point, which I think that if you want to like use drop... Corviknight to beat Urshifu, I don't think the rest of your team is built correctly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rocky no, Helmet. For the other two. Rocky Helmet's also a really solid option on this guy because he has that um, recovery option already and mm -hmm. that like super high bulk. So being able to switch in on urshifu live the hit and then like you know take that ship damage and even versus like chen pao i think one of the biggest things on chen pao that players are like looking into right now is ice spinner is like its best ice stab right now but the only reason people run ice spinner over ice go crash is because of the better accuracy however because it's a contact move it does proc rocky helmet and since rocky helmet is everywhere it's even on like tornadoes now uh, yeah. people are looking into Ice Go Crash as sort of like a high risk, high reward in that you maintain your focus sash easier. So that is something to, to look out for. Um, Gudra, it is other the Corviknight. same Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but you can't, but this one is also like really solid into the, into the Urshifu stuff because it can't get crit. The only thing is, um, Gudra is really, really easy to play around in my opinion. I haven't really had any issues beating I Gudra. Agree. I've always said this. If you have Amoongus on your team and they have open team sheets, you know how to play into it. Oh, yeah. they're Shell Armor? Rage Powder forever. Oh, they're Sap Sipper? Don't Spore. <laughs> Heavy Slam does chunk you. That's the one thing. Um, like Heavy Slam does a lot to Amoongus because it's stabbed. Like, have you ever have you ever Heavy Slammed an Amoongus with Iron Hand? It's like a three hit KO. This thing has stab on like that. I feel like if you're a balanced team and you don't have Intimidate on your team, your Amoongus should be free versus yeah. Gudra. Gudra's number yeah. one weakness is, is open team sheets. It is. I, yeah. I've always said that. It is. Yeah, it like, actually is. I, I, and also Golden Ghost. Close Sheet really... Gudra? Close Sheet Gudra, I will tell you, is amazing. Yeah. yeah that's a great Pokemon. <laughs> when when you are both Sap Zipper and Shell Armor at the same time, yeah, that's great. But yeah. But can't no. be both. <laughs> Just, Gudra plays almost exactly the same as Corviknight, but um, it's... You know, it, it typically just does like the um, acid armor. Don't run, don't run the, what's the move it has? Shelter. Delta. Don't run shelter, shelter. it's worse. Uh, yeah, you run heavy slam to deal with like opposing, uh, just opposing fairy types, specifically Fluttermane. 
Uh, yeah, body press as your main form of damage, and you put like protect on here. But I have seen some crazy people not run protect. Leftovers, you tear a water or tear a flying, sometimes even tear a fairy. I think tear a water is probably the best. Uh, and yeah, it's it's very easy to run this Pokemon. You just calc to make sure you don't get like two it KO'd by Chen Pao, like right off the bat, and you're good. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, rising shelter, uh, setting acid armor, and then I don't know astrology. What's the other word? Uh, Wait, waning gibbous. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don Dozo. Uh, Don Dozo is Don Dozo. It's 150 HP, 115 defense, and it resists Ice Spinner and doesn't really care about E Speed that much. On top of that, that's a Geary. You get plus it's two. It's mainly the plus two defense boost that you get from it that Don Dozo is on this list for. Because, yeah. like, it's able to sit on the field in front of Choice Banded, Terra Normal, Sword of Ruin, Extreme Speeds. You take, yeah. like, I think 38. And because they're usually Terra Normal and they have to Terra Normal to really deal damage to you, you can just click Earthquake and deal with both of them in a few hits. You know, yeah. you do like the you typical, up, like, like this set parade is fine up, yeah. into it. You you do have to invest, I think, a little bit more in defense because you need to make sure you don't get like, you know, KO'd by Sacred Sword. Like not getting three at KO'd by Sacred Sword is probably really important. I don't know what you need to invest to do that. Um, it's not foolproof because like it, you can't just lead Dondozo into these two because they have two other Pokemon that could pivot around. Yeah, with you got to end game. Most of the time it's like fake out or anything like that. So yeah, if you can set up an end game, then you're fine. But yeah. otherwise, Tetsuguri is just not, here because his older brother's there. You're not eliminating the damage. You know who yeah. does eliminate the damage? Surprisingly, <laughs> All right, Rigoref. Yes, you care about Outrage, right? Unless Terra Fairy, which is the best defensive Terra type for it. Um, you Which no longer care about yet. Sucker Punch, you no longer care about Extreme Speed, you no longer care about uh, Outrage, you only really care about Stomping Tantrum, which doesn't do that much, and Ice Spinner, which 120 HP, 70 defense. You can invest in such a way where you don't even care, and also you can access Trick Room. Yeah. Indeedee yeah. is not on this list specifically because Chen Pao Ice Spinner just removes the terrain, so it's yeah. like, oh cool, your Indeedee's turning off my priority move. Hey, fun I'm fact, gonna click fun it fact. anyway. <laughs> Rocky Helmet and Didi. Rocky Helmet and Didi, it can prevent Ice Spinner from removing terrain, I'm pretty sure. I forget what the interaction is. I think it might actually I don't know how it works with Rocky Helmet, but I know with like Life Orb Chen Pao, if you KO yourself while you ice spinner, it doesn't remove terrain. I mean that's the case with the rapid spin in yeah. singles. So I will Wait, it. that yeah, that's cool. You have like a you lead in DD Flutter main with like a booster energy, you moon blast the the Chien Pao and Rocky Elm at the DD follow me. Yeah. Ooh. Big. Ooh, big. That's really cool. That is kind of cool, actually. Yeah. yeah Hidden but, tech you know. that you would only find on the Moxie Booster channel. Click like and subscribe. Exactly. Yeah. Armor Tail is just like a really good thing. Um I I mean I think honestly I think that for like a like an unsung hero of competitive this year. Like imagine where we would be if we didn't have all these different options for dealing with extreme speed. Yeah. Like honestly, if it was I just in DD, if it was just in DD. No. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I like that. Um, I remember when Armatail was first revealed and that everyone was like, oh, that's dumb. Why would they give that to a trick room user? Little did you know. Yeah, they, they knew. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Yeah, we, we don't give Game Freak a lot of credit. I think I think we need to give them a little bit more credit for predicting extreme speed stuff. All right. Yeah. Iron Hands. 154 guy, HP. He's back. Yeah, 108 defense. Um, this is drain the punch. <laughs> yeah, this is Take arguably out. the best way to deal with any kind of physical attacker or any just kind of problem matchup that you have right now. Slap an Iron Hands on it because it can yeah. live any move you want it to. And you hardly need to invest into HP with this guy. Like, I've seen like Iron Head spreads that look like this, man. These Iron Head spreads, yeah. these are the ones that you know go crazy. <laughs> the ones where it's like, yeah, I have max spit up. What about it? Yeah, even, I mean, granted, this was in Rig C that I did this, but I was even dropping attack for defense and special defense. I yeah, because you don't run. need it, man. Like, he's got 140 attack. You're drain punching, you're fine. Yeah. And if you're, like, spamming Volt Switch everywhere, like, you're never at minus one. Um, Iron Hands, it just, it goes solid into literally every one of these Pokemon. Like, name one of these Pokemon that deals with Iron Hands. Dragonite can go for, like, East, or it can go for, like, Stomping Tantrum, but, like, that's a prediction. Um... You know, just, the name of the game of beating this too is but like to not let them extreme speed. If you can make them click a different attack, you're winning most yeah. of the time because banded stomping tantrum off a non stab is kind of pitiful. Just realize the iron hands yeah. literally 
KOs all of them. Like none of them beat Iron Hands, except Urshifu if he has like Terra Water and Rain. They beat Iron Hands together, but if you have other Pokemon in your team that are yeah. preventing a double up, like, then that's- With our powers combined, we can take out one Pokemon. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then like you have Fluttermane in the back and goes, okay, well, what are you gonna do about it? Not even in the back, just next to it goes, okay, cool. What are you gonna do? Uh, like the Fluttermane Iron Hands lead, they, they're just like, and I hate this game. <laughs> Iron Hands is the Captain America of Sword and Shield, of Scarlet and Violet, because exactly. it says Avengers Assemble and then prevents double ups. Okay. Um, and now this is the Thanos. Yeah, this is this Scarlet is the post <laughs> post credit scene. Post credit scene. <laughs> Wo Chen. And I know you guys are tired of my Wo Chen propaganda, right? Terra Water Wo Chen goes insane in this format. All right. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the set. You ready? I'm gonna drop the set right here. This Wo Chen right here. This crazy Wo Chen. Leftovers. Protect. Leech Leaf, Palm Puff, Foul Play, Max HP, 172 attack with a with a defense boost in nature. Let me tell you something. I don't even have to explain to you that it can eat the E speed with Sword of Ruin active because guess what? It turns off Sword of Ruin. Being able to turn off Sword of Ruin and having effectively a reflect that also doesn't care like about crits. Crits still have their attack reduced because it's the attack stat and not the damage that's reduced. You know what I mean? Foul Play, you're able to two hit KO Dragonite with that even better. Wo Chen, Terra Water, you wall out both of these Pokemon. You have a Pokemon next to it like Fluttermane or Golden Go that puts up enough pressure where they have to focus that instead of the Wo Chen. And Wo Chen, the Sleeper Agent, just goes for a Leech Seed on that Dragonite. It's getting like, you know, chip damage here and there. Or even better, Pollen Puff, clean to it KO versus uh, Chen Pao. And once that thing's gone, it's over. Because guess what? Not only is the Sword of Ruin being neutralized by the Tablets of Ruin, when you get rid of that Chen Pao, it's just Tablets of Ruin. Like that E Speed hits like a floppy noodle. I am contractually obligated to agree with you because I work here. Yes, Marcos, Wo Chen is a good Pokemon. Yes, boss. The yes, yes boss. Yeah, yeah, yes, boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Batman gives me money. Bro, yes, pe sir. Pe people are, people are always like, yeah, hey, yeah, uh, Wo Chen's garbage. And I'm like, post ladder. Post ladder right now. Post ladder. Post ladder rings. <laughs> yeah, no. 17, 1730. Baby. No, he's not wrong, though, because turning off Sword of Ruin does make Dragonite a Gen 1 Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, so. yeah, like Choice Band still hits like really hard um, because it's like still Terra Normal, but being able yeah. to turn off the Sword of Ruin and being able to massively reduce the damage that Urshifu is able to deal. Because remember, Urshifu doesn't care about Intimidate or Reflect. It's only Burn. Burn is literally the only thing that can stop Urshifu Rapid Strike or even Urshifu Single Strike, right? So like it does come in clutch versus this Orteta Pokemon. Um, yeah. you, it is a Terra Sync. That's the one thing I'll concede. It's a huge Terra Sync. So, yeah, um, that's, that's that's it. That's regulation D for you. These uh these four, despite us giving you all the tools to beat it, they're still going to win. Sorry. Anyways, thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. See you.